Hi, and welcome back to Washington County Public Schools video repository. We are in the process of starting a Facebook page for your classroom, school, or department. But sometimes many teachers will get stuck when it comes to selecting the right type of Facebook page. Let's go ahead and get logged into Facebook, and we'll go to www.facebook.com slash pages slash create dot php. Once we get to this page and you're logged in, you will notice that you're on the Facebook page that allows you to create other pages. Now many teachers will get stuck when trying to figure out what type of page do I create? Should it be a local business or place? A company, organization, or institution? They also have band or brand or product, artist, band, or public figure, entertainment, or cause or community. I checked with Facebook and their recommendations are that teachers create a page under the artist, band, or public figure type, which goes to show that we are all rock stars. You gotta like it. So let's go ahead and start by clicking on artist, band, or public figure. And the first thing you're going to do is choose a category. So if you hit your drop down arrow, you can come down and choose teacher at the bottom. And then the next thing it's going to do is ask you to give your page a name. So if you're a third grade teacher at Eastern, you may want to put EAE for Eastern Mrs. Fear. I'm going to do WCPS IN STP. ECH for Instructional Technology, Kim here. And then we're going to click our Get Started button. Could you choose another type of page? Of course you could. I think the only other logical one would be to choose a place or organization. You're not really a local business. So once you've chosen that, you'll notice that you get to your setup page. And the first thing you want to do is tell the people what your page is about. So I'm going to put ideas for using instructional technology in the classroom. <coughs> okay, so after that, if you had a website for your classroom as well as your Facebook page, you could add it here. Then you're asked to choose a unique Facebook web address. So I am simply going to call mine WCPS I-N-S-T-P-E-C-H K-I-M-P-E-E-R and hit Save Info. Now please be aware that this address that you choose for your page can only be changed one time. Okay? So I'm going to click on Save Info and the next thing it wants to do is to, for me to import a picture. So I can pull it in from a website or I can upload one from a computer. I'm going to upload from my computer. Since I'm on my MacBook Air, if I come down, I can go to Photos on my left-hand side. And you'll notice that you can choose from either Photos or if you had been working in um, Photo booth, you can choose photo booth as well. I don't have that option right now. So I'm just going to go down and find a picture that I like. So let's just say I want to use kids using their Mac. They're working on their digital passport. So I'm going to use this picture. I'll click open and it becomes sort of like adding an email attachment, something you guys are all used to doing. And then we're going to wait patiently for my profile picture to upload. <clears throat> On the flip side, if you do import it from a website, it is going to ask you for the website where to pull that picture in from. Hmm, I thought I hit this. Let's try this again. Okay, it is trying to save the photo. It appears to be running just a smidgen slow today. So we'll wait here for just a second. And as we do, uh, please remember that as you are creating Facebook pages, 
you need to start thinking about do you want your page to be wide open for everyone or would you prefer to invite people to be a part of your page? These are some things that are going to come up as we continue making your web page. All right, so my picture is uploaded. I'm going to click Next. Now it wants to know if I want to add it to my favorites. Um, I do want to add this to my favorites, so I'm going to click on Add to Favorites. I'm going to click my Next button. And here you're going to find that it asks you for what your audience is. It said, tell us about the people you'd most likely to most like to connect with. Anyone can find your page, but we'll do our best to put people in front of you who matter the most. So locations, everyone in this location. So you can like literally choose, you can drop a pin on a map, or you may put people who live in this location, people who recently were at this location, or people traveling in this location. So I'm really not going to change any settings on this at this time. I'm not going to add an area on the map for that. I'm not going to choose my age limits. Remember, with Facebook, the youngest you can choose would be 13 because legally students have to be 13 in order to create an account. And I'm just going to click my save button. And here we are. I now have my page. It's set up and it's ready to go. It does give you a brief tutorial once you get here. It talks about getting around and how you'll need to manage it. Um, if I hit next, it'll tell us that we can like this page. So since I have my individual account as well as my work account, I could like this page. And now I could come in and invite friends. So here we're at a point where if you have email addresses or your friends are a part of Facebook, you could add them to your page. And then you could also suggest that it talks about or goes to your email account and looks at your email accounts to see if you have friends to add. That is it. You have successfully set up your first Facebook page. Our next session we will talk about your privacy settings.